Morning. We're going to tie a little uh, spade style skunk fly this morning. Uh, I'm going to start out with a little tinsel. Tying the gold side down. We're just using a little mylar here this morning, but you can use your favorite tinsel of choice. Usually start that where I want the tinsel to end, wrap back to make the tag, and then come forward. It just reinforces it. Tail on this fly is a uh, good old red saddle hackle. Take a little piece of that, get the length set. I usually trim this off here and then tie that in. And this is a summer steelhead pattern. Summer steelhead pattern, yeah. It's, uh, it is time to uh, get out there and chase those summer steelhead. Um, these darker flies make good comeback flies if you're dry fly fishing or just a great pattern in general in the morning. We're having a lot of overcast days right now. Great fly for that situation. I tie this in and I make a hurl out of it. There's uh, half a dozen fibers. Make a loop of line or uh, tying thread here and then bring it back forward. Bring it around. And I really like these um, hackle pliers with the wire loop. They come from hairline. Um, Really simple tool, but, simple but tool. that is a good, it holds it well. Holds. I think it's an electrical tool originally. It, it or was for checking circuits. And yeah. um, years ago we had them and they had the actual insert on the back of them where the wire went in to check the circuit boards. So. Yeah, okay. that's really holding well. Yeah, well, it usually does. <laughs> Get me in front of the camera, my uh, monster strength starts in here. So we get that started and wrapped up. And it's about half the body is going to be this uh, peacock hurl. Nice thing about this, you've got a super durable fly when you twist it like that. And I do that on most anything that I tie um, that has peacock hurl. And it's going to have a fish that has teeth. Otherwise that fly is going to last one time for you. We're going to do the same thing with ostrich hurl. It's you know it's kind of a delicate material. Cut the tips off, tie those in. Come up, stop my thread about where I want the body to stop, just as a marker. Make a loop again. Bring that around. Try to stand your peacock hurl out as much as you can because you want it to fluff up. Get your thread in there and your hurl. Bring that around. Just start working your way forward. You can brush this fiber back as you come up and it will help it to stand a little better. nice thing about the hurl too is when it gets in the water and gets wet it really undulates a little bit. Not much that it, I don't know that a fish is going to see it too well, but it helps me believe that it gives that fly a little bit of motion. I'm going to tie in my hackle. I've already prepared this. I uh, cut the tip off, pull the fibers out straight because we're going to tie this collar style. And this is pretty important. You're going to see Jay Nicholas do this a lot on his cutthroat patterns at the shops uh, putting on the blog. and. What it does is these fibers here are stiffer at the base and it helps that hackle stand out so when the fly is going through the water that all those fibers go down and lay back up, especially if you're stripping it in a steelhead or a uh, sea run pattern. Now you'll see how those hackles stand out, those, those first couple wraps. Brush those back a little bit to make them lay back just a titch. So there we've got that. Now we're going to use a little Arctic Fox. Um, this is a great material. Um, polar Bear was traditionally used on a lot of these skunk flies, but it's really unavailable anymore. And it has a nice translucency 
Arctic Fox resembles that in some respects. Um, probably not as translucent, but still has a great sheen to it. Make sure you get that under fiber out. There's a lot of um, real fine fibers down in there. Comb them out and then stack this real well. I'm going to lay this up here and get my length set first. Pinch that, cut it so it's a flat blunt tip. And I'll tie it in a little bit long and then pull back. Now this series of flies was originally tied with um, a red head on it. And I, what you would normally want to do, and I kind of forgot as we're filming here, is when you get to the hackle, stop the hackle, or after, after you get the hackle wrapped in, switch threads. And then you can tie, uh, or you can, you can tie in the red thread, or you can wrap it over this thread. The problem is you got black thread under red, and it just doesn't pop like it normally would when you're wrapping it over these white tips on this uh, Arctic Fox. There you go.